Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with uh, Green Acres Pest Control. Uh, about to do a how-to video. I know a lot of people probably aren't going to agree with this video because it involves electricity and water. Uh, first, before I do this, I want to make sure you know the severity of if this goes wrong. You could cause an electrical shock, you could cause a fire. You want to make sure you do everything right and that there is no need uh, for any worry if you do this properly. Now, if you like these kind of videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, anyway, let's get on to it. This is the, uh, I've been kind of teasing this for the last couple weeks or so in my videos. Uh, I'm going to make a stink bug trap. Now, everything you see on the table, light bulbs, uh, got a little shop light here, a bucket, and some Dawn dish soap uh, is all you really need, and some water, which I don't have here right now, but just for demonstration purposes, I don't think I really need any. That goes without saying. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. What you do is you get you one of these. These are cheap shop light. You can get them $5. They don't cost much of anything, and uh, they'll, they'll provide the job what we want to do. Now, it's very important that you get a light bulb, uh, an old style light bulb, halogen bulb. The reason you want a halogen bulb is because they generate a lot of heat. They generate a lot of light, but they also generate a lot of heat. What's going to happen, you take your light bulb, screw it into your shop light, like that, and see if I can get some power here. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you get your bucket. Now, this is just a simple wash basin bucket. It's not a very large bucket. What I normally advise to use in this situation is a five gallon bucket. Uh, you can get those at Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that. But uh, this is a little bit easier to film here. And so what you'll do is you'll get your bucket and you, the reason I use a shop light is because it's got a really powerful crimp, crimp right there. And so you just, you crimp it down really good. You point your light directly down into your bucket like so. You fill it about a quarter of the way with water and you put about three drops of Dawn concentrated dish soap in your water and you leave it on. Now, I wouldn't advise putting this in your home. I would advise maybe your garage or a barn or a shed, places where the, the stink bugs are going to be really bad. That's what this is for. This is to catch stink bugs. So uh, it's, it's really, it works really, really well. Now, and, and now I'm going to go into describing why you want to use these halogen bulbs. The reason you use a halogen bulb is because they produce a lot of heat, they produce a lot of light, the light will attract the stink bugs. 100 watts is perfect. Uh, the stink bug's going to fly in. He's going to touch that light bulb. When he does, it'll singe his feet. He'll fall into the Dawn soap liquid and die. Um, I have used these in the evenings, uh, in barns and in garages, and I've come back to an inch or two deep of dead stink bugs every single day. They're very effective, works very well, but like I said earlier, it is electricity and it is water. You need to be extremely careful. Uh, you need to, you know, if you don't feel brave enough, you know, they do make stink bug traps. They sell them at Walmart, Home Depot. I don't advise buying them. They're really just a waste of money. This works. So I think that uh, it's worked well for me. It's worked well for customers of mine. Actually, this was an idea given to me by one of my customers who used it in his barn where it was almost impossible to treat to keep the stink bugs out because it was a barn and it was wide open. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. I uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you like the video. I know I'm going to get yelled at a lot in the description because, I mean, in the uh, comments 
because this is electricity and water and you don't ever mix the two. In fact, I would probably go so far just to be safe to plug your, uh, your light into a ground fault outlet. Uh, you may even be able to get one of those little uh, breaker extension cords that have a built-in breaker just in case it were to fall over or you know if you put in a barn you know a barn cat or a rat or something like that might hit it bump it knock it over and cause you an electric short and that would hopefully you know if you use a breaker cord it would pull the breaker and it would stop it from burning down your barn so uh, just so you know I want you to understand the risks that come with making this type of stink bug trap and uh, they work. They work really well. So uh, you can find me on Facebook, Green Acres Pest Control, LLC. You can also uh, check out my website, greenacrespc.com. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And y'all have a great day.